What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist D&D. As always, I'm your host, Connor. With us, we have Dan as Alsawa. Evening. Mike as Max. You, you. Red as Ivan. Ivan's in the building. And Nick as Elijah. Titties. Oh, I still know Zach. Him. He's still taking care of his baby, so he's still going to be vomiting in the toilet. We'll get, uh, get Elijah out of there. Oh, yeah. They're not puking holding hands anymore. Mm. And Qu- Quick recap as to what happened last time. The team did some independent sparring, then spent some time in town learning various rumors and seeing the familiar face of Kimberly. Now, a few weeks have passed. In this time, a few events have occurred. And we're just going to kind of rush through them. In one of these days, you get a knock on the door. Who goes there? You go to, oh, you see Sherman goes to open it up, and you see Kimberly. (laughs) Look, it's Kimberly. The fuck was that? Kimberly? No, uh, apparently my cell phone decided to commit itself, die. Nice. It just fell off my nightstand. Just gonna make a joke and held back. Browser, and it was like, fuck this, I'm out. Wouldn't have been a joke against anyone here, if anything would have. Just, just clarifying that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> well, I was avoiding the S word because of the the logarithms. Yeah. Or whatever the term is. So Yeah, the YouTube algorithm. That's the word. Luckily, it's gotten better. Longer than can apply to. They they made some <laughs> significant changes to the algorithm on YouTube for that stuff. Also, um, Mike, you are ungodly quiet. It's probably because of this. Is that, that might be why. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the time, that stuff is fine, especially since we do longer content. That typically affects smaller <laughs> content. Yeah, I know that for a while it was like the first couple of minutes. If it picked up on certain things, it would. Yeah. yeah. So the only videos we have that aren't monetizable, um, aside from ones that have been hit by like you know, actual copyright uh, stuff like the Ruby reacts and things like that, are ones where Zach makes uh, titles that have has cussing in the headline. Wait, really? So, so, so us cussing will fuck with the algorithm. I mean, we're <laughs> <not with> the- <laughs> <laughs> it. So it used to have a potential, and it still might to some degree. It's not any like it doesn't screw up anything that we do. Um, but if me or Zach make a, the title of a video and it has a swear in it or something that's uh, controversial, like if we put in gun, uh, fuck, abortion, stuff like I'll that, say, the, whole, like, the whole video is just immediately demonetized. That's the case, bro. Oh my god, how are we still running with me being here? Holy fuck. <laughs> Women don't deserve <laughs> rights. I cuss too. Right. Why do you think I haven't been pulling firearms out on video? I wanted to because... fuck with somebody. I could Oh, yeah. Even I though it'd that. be absolutely appropriate for this D&D, I'm not doing it because I don't want to hurt us on the algorithm. That's, That's fair. That. Facts. Okay. That's also why we don't talk about the coof. Get to shaking like a fucking rap video. No. So, Kimberly enters. Hello, everyone. Now, I've already met with El Sawa since my arrival here, but I just want to say it's good to see you all again. Likewise. Uh, it's been too long, Kimberly. It has, hasn't it, Max? Quite quite a while. What have you what have you been up to? Oh, I'm just here on a private mission. Private assignment. Oh, Beyond that I've been filling up my time serving my own. Well, What do you mean by uh, your own? Your by own serving own. those who are interested in me. Uh, sorry, can you mute that. yourself, Red, while you're uh, not talking to do anything? What places? Red? <laughs> Red? Yes, I'm back. Sorry, what? Can you mute yourself while you're not talking? We're just picking up. Yeah, 
to the microphone. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Grazie. Oh, it's not you. It's Nick. Oh, is it my fan? Yeah. Sorry, man. I no was picking it up earlier, so it must have just happened. I'm surprised my my mic doesn't pick up my air conditioner that's literally like five feet away from me. Some mics are just better at blocking <laughs> that stuff out naturally. Yeah, this this mic is is complicated because I've kind of had to hotwire this, this mic headset since is a cool dude. <laughs> Love you, Mike. Didn't see that coming. Yee. <laughs> he says. You see, I'm here serving under Brigadier General Edison. And I figured it was just my responsibility, he turns to Sherman, to meet you. It is an honor, General. He just kind of nods his head back. Now, I should also inform you, all of you, uh, whereas I am not allowed to tell you the details of my mission, I may require assistance from time to time. So I merely ask you all to cooperate should that come up. I appreciate yes, If that's the mission, of course. At that point, you see General Sherman snaps back. If I ask you to tell me the details, you will, boy. You see Kimberly smiles a coy smile back at him. Actually, I won't. My orders are for medicine. However, he reaches into his jacket pocket, holds out a piece of paper and hands it to him. Sherman takes it, raids it over. You see his eyes wind with shock as he looks back to Kimberly. However, the details of my mission are under the authority of the Fuhrer himself. Ooh. So, while I report to Edison, I have authority over everyone, but our Lord Fuhrer himself, of course. So that means even you, General. My jaw just drops. I didn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't expect I'll need anything from you directly. But I figured it was proper for me to meet with you about this, just in case. And with that, he reaches over, takes the paper back, puts it in his jacket. With that, I'll be off. What does the old man want with you? I'm afraid that is classified. I'm not allowed to say. And again, I will emphasize, he signed off on the authority of the confidentiality. He is not the one who has given me this assignment directly. He'll just kind of nod. Makes more sense. Understood, Kimberly. <laughs> Splendid. Turns around, walks on out. Sharon closes the door. He turns to you all. Who the hell is he? Uh, old classmate. Well, I guess current. No former classmate. I guess we're not at school anymore. Clearly, he's more than that. This is uh, some sort of explosive alchemy. Pretty strong. It was quite a bit ahead of us in terms of alchemy. And he seems to have allies in higher Very high positions. Places. Much it's higher than most of us do. But he's a genius when it comes to that stuff. I have one, but it doesn't. But of course, the Fuhrer doesn't pull favors for me. I guess you could say. Right. Well. <sighs> hate that bastard. Unless this is some play to spite me from the other leadership. I guess we probably shouldn't have anything to worry about. Even Edison wouldn't be that bold. Fun. Finish up what you're doing. He goes into his room. About a week later passes from that time. Oh, dang. <laughs> if you have something immediate you're trying to do, you can. That's it's fine. So about a week later passes from that day. Uh, and all of you are called to the military outpost in town, except for El Sawa. I know what time it is. Fucking oh. Ishvalin. Nerd. I'm kidding. I'm oh, going to give him a high five and I'll be like, I'll probably tell you what happens whenever we get done. Walks away. So what's the details? Just that Sherman and all of them have been taken away? 
and I've been left here alone? Or... Uh, Sherman is still there with you. So they've been sent out, and it's just me and Sherman. Yep. Okay. So talk to him if you wish. I'm going to prep the, the next map here. I forgot to reveal some of the things that I need to. Is there any dialogue that is planned for this section? Oh, God, I just... Uh, did... Not between you two. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll see them all leave. I'll look to Sherman. Uh... Permission to ask a question, sir? Bye, buddy. Granted. Any idea why they were called away and I was not? I'm afraid I don't know. It's possible it could be, judging by your heritage, something to do with Ishval. But we're not certain. Might be nothing at all. Perhaps I will work under that assumption for the time being. We'll hear about it when they get back. You can ask your details from them themselves. Of course, sir. I only wish to find out if there was things I should not be asking about at this time. No, you don't need to worry about that with me. So Tony went into the room first. He was called in. Then he walks on out a few minutes later. You see, he looks kind of smug. He's walking out. So it goes. Oops. He goes. All right, guys. I'll see you all. Uh, see y'all back at a uh, back at Sherman's place. I'm gonna give him a nod. It's my boy. Oh, yeah, Max, you're there. up next. By the way, you should have stayed in that bathroom. You could have lived out your days there. Time's coming short, though. Right, I'm walking in. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in to a very dark room. You can't see anything at all until you hear a click. But you see a dim light lights up the room. Bye, Max. You see Kimberly. <laughs> you mean hi, Max. Hi, hi Max. Hello. How have you been? I've been uh been all right. Been good, actually. Yeah, how about you? Oh, nothing to complain about. I think I'm actually excited more than anything. Yeah. Uh, why why is that? I'm sorry, that's classified. Hmm. How's, How's your training been? Training? Well, training's been uh, training. Nothing more. It's not going terrible. Learning a lot from Sherman. As much as he'll teach. Has he been himself? Any issues? Mm, not, not with, uh, not, not with anyone. Uh, not even really with me per se. He's, he's been okay. He's a little suspicious of me, you know, considering the circumstances. <laughs> Understandable. I mean, you did break into our prison. Is that so? Yeah. Well, technically into the underbelly of it. He kind of leans back. You know, I'm one of the only other people who have been there, Max. Go on. No, no, this is where I wait for you. I've what heard the reason why you've said what you've done, but I just want to know what's your opinion on what you saw down there? No, well, I didn't see much. It's in a hurry, of course. But of what you did see, what was your take on it? Well, there could be some other things that are going on. It's none of my concern. I think we've talked before. I'm a simple man. You know, I've got I've got goals, you know, objectives. I, I just seek to complete those. Nothing more. 
And your goal of that one was what you said when you reported it? Uh, remind me. You know, just a refresher. What, what was that? You said that you were rescuing an inmate because you were hoping it would pay off in the long run. That still holds true. <laughs> you At least can remember, me. Max, I'm not like the rest of the military here. I can respect a devious hand played for the greater good. You know, we'll see. Yeah, depending on uh, on you know how fruitful this endeavor actually was. You know, for for all I know, we've been scammed. Maybe. And what's what's this really about, Kimberly? What's going on? All right, I'll arrive at the heart of the question. Can you provide an insight into the traitor alchemists that might not be in the official report? Nothing. I don't think you'd already know. Nothing? Nothing about a shift in personality post-coup? Or any goals that aren't just about taking down the fear? Not that they've told me. And despite what you'd, despite what you'd think, they, didn't, uh, you know, they weren't very willing to share information. You did spend a few days with them. You weren't able to learn anything? The only thing that I was able to learn is that they really didn't want me to know about the Philosopher's Stone. Is that so? That's right. So they're seeking that? I don't think they're seeking that. I think they uh, they sought it past tense. Failed attempt. Okay. Or perhaps they're seeking something else. Or perhaps they've already done it. And they're they're waiting to use it, perhaps. But who knows? These are all just uh just theories. Empty. You don't have to mind me. I'm ranting. That's fine. Theories are what I'm here for. Let me explain to you, Max. The Fuhrer is sick of the military's failures to take them down. So I've been personally tasked with hunting down who I can. I'm trying to develop a plan, gather intel, and awaiting the arrival of a very special package. So if there's anything you can provide me that might assist in that, I implore you to give it to me. Because I'm going for the throat. Hmm. Let me see what my notes have. Not just playing. I don't have any notes. <laughs> I had notes in the past. Or do I? Did you just foreshadow his future? Sorry. What did What did you tell us last? What, what did he freaking say? He was like, uh, they were looking for uh, what's his face. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I think I wrote it down. I didn't write it down. They said something about like them looking for what's his face. <laughs> Hold on one second. I might have it in here. Oh, good. I wrote down like it, like uh, it was like an incomplete note. <laughs> but I some, for some reason, saved it. Or maybe it was in Discord. Hold up, let me see. It was Discord. Apparently, you know, recent intel, of course, you know, uh, word on the street is, uh, where is this thing? Pantu? Are they coming for us? Storm Alchemist? No, that's something else sold up. <laughs> oh, here it is. Yeah. So jail, the jailbird and the headhunter 
were spotted recently. Uh, five miles east of Pendleton. I've heard about that report already. Nothing else? They also say they were headed east. Is that all? Elijah McLean, son of Alexander McLean. And what would that have to do with anything? Uh, he's acquaintances with Patu. Well, that's something that might be useful. Go ahead and send Elijah in. Well, before we do, you know, in exchange for the information, of course, uh, the package you had mentioned, uh, you know, any chance you'd be willing to, uh, you know, share, you know, share the wealth? I'm afraid the package is a specific item that's meant to help me ensure the capture of them, or the killing of them. I could, I could assist you in, you know, that endeavor. I appreciate it, Max. Should the time come, I'll let you know then. Until then, just keep doing your own thing. All right. Very well, Kimberly. I go ahead and send Elijah in. All right. Thank you, Max. You're up, Elijah. All right, Kimberly. <sighs> If you weren't uh, you weren't scripted to survive, you know I might be plotting to kill you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you don't know that he's scripted. Oh, End game. <laughs> Wait, I'm scripted to die. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I was talking about you. Guys could survive. I mean, there is a pattern Good. of Nyx being yeah. executed in the campaign. So I've never been oh. executed. <clears throat> uh, Sword art. <laughs> I wasn't there for it. He's gonna he's gonna slowly walk in, kinda look Kimberly in the eye. How you doing, Smokey? Smokey. Cause you do the explosion thing. Not quite the name I'd choose. I'm doing well, fine. How about you, Elijah? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. What do you want? I nearly have some questions I need answered. Mm -hmm. Now, how's your training been going? Well enough, I think. How's Sherman Next. been? He's a hell of a guy. He, uh, I'd have to say he's probably the hardest fight we've ever had, and he was going easy on us. <laughs> he is talented, according to what I've heard, at least. Glass hurts. <laughs> I'll be sure to avoid it. I knew you'd probably just blow yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd blow him up sooner than me. Understandable. Anyways, yeah, it's fine. Now, Elijah, it's come to my attention that your father was acquaintances with Pontu Giji. Who? Pontu, one of the traitor alchemists. My old man never knew, him, as far as I know. At least he never mentioned it. He didn't mention a lot about his work. Wasn't my business. I was a kid. Okay. Is there any information about the traitor alchemist that you might have acquired recently? Everything that I have to say is something you already know. Very well, Elijah. I think that's all I need from you. You can go ahead and send Ivan in. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello? 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 What what was the last thing you heard? Did it. Uh <laughs> Discord notification. 
The <laughs> last thing that I heard, because my notification sound is gone while OBS is open, uh, nothing that you wouldn't already know. Yeah, uh, I, I was asking out of game. Do I have anything I need to tell him? <laughs> nothing that you need to. I know. Do I have any information that I may have said? Maybe in your previous encounters, if you discovered anything. But if you don't remember what that is, then uh, sounds like you got nothing. Shout out to <laughs> sessions being like two weeks apart. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. It makes Shout notes out to more important. Take notes. <laughs> Well, that's too Dead. dang bad. This is thank you, uh, Elijah. That'll be all. Please send <laughs> Ivan in. Yep. Walk out. Mr. McBitch, it's your turn. Wow. Uh, anyway. Well, without Zach here, we need someone to be salty. <laughs> That's funny. Um, my father-in-law, that was like his special nickname for me. I swear to God, that man loves calling me that. Anyway, Ivan's going to walk in. Big old, just, you know, looking like Ivan. Just chill. Just relax. What's Hello, going Ivan. On? You and I don't have much experience with each other. Not really. I'll stick my hand out to like shake it, shake his hand to see if he'll like shake my hand. He reaches forward, shakes your hand. You note that he has a transmutation circle, like etched into like, his oh, skin. You're one of those alchemists, just like my uh, friends. Yes, That's though awesome. a little bit more capable. So I've heard. I've heard you're a pretty capable alchemist. Yeah. Just watch ahead of. You're why you're ahead of most of the other students. Props, though. I can never really get that alchemy, alchemy thing down. That's why I'm, I'm a soldier. Well, we wouldn't want to ask more from our soldiers than what they can do. If you're not comfortable doing that, so be it. Hey, I, hey at least someone has a good outlook on it. If only exactly. I could find someone with a fucking arm of mine, man. Let me tell you. This thing's <laughs> been acting all sorts of weirdness. He looks at it. That is an interesting arm. It is, man. This is what that freaking traitor Pontu did to me. Right? It was Pontu that did that to me? Yeah. No, nah, it was... Uh, okay. It was Pontu. It was Pontu. I just want to make sure it was Pontu, not one of his other goons. You know, I might be able to assist you in preparing that. What? Really? Really, Kimberly? What, what? What can I do? Like, I'll do anything, man. I want my arm to be back to normal so I can finally start making some repairs on this. I want to upgrade. On this. Let's just say you owe me one. Absolutely. Steps forward. All right, place your arm out. I place my arm out. I look at it. I'm like, Kimberly, let's go, buddy. Roll perception check. Oh. Oh, this sounds like I blow my arm up. Philosopher <laughs> swag. Ha uh -huh. Let's see. Perception. Oh, I'm down with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> you barely notice for a brief instant a fl uh, like a red flick, a red glint of the light in his mouth. Right as he goes to begin the alchemy. So he's got his hands on your arm. And he goes to do it. That one, that one. Rebound. Now the bright side is, because of the red glint, a rebound won't happen here unless the stone fails. So another nat one. Unless I don't want to give him a spirit die. <laughs> no, please. No, nope. we die. no we can't. You I don't even have it. Honor, you gotta stay true to this. I don't even have a spirit die to give. <laughs> I wouldn't want to give him. One. Fuck him. Hope no, dies. we need to see what happens. Oh man, just out of curiosity. Oh. Okay. 
Man. <laughs> so you see the alchemy's going on. It's as opposed to the blue lightning coming off of it, you do notice it's red. And then it stops, and you see your arm is completely the same. Oh, well that's... Uh... Huh. Something's not right here. What's going on? There's still fence barriers. Uh, Kimberly, did were you able to do it or? I'm afraid I wasn't able to. All right, so he kind of thinks. I must be running low. I apologize, Ivan. I have a package that is coming for me here in the nearby future. Perhaps once that's arrived, I might be able to give this another shot. Sure, buddy. That sounds like a fair deal, and I'll owe you one. <laughs> My apologies. Yep. It's this okay. man, Kimberly, is probably... Damn, I suck. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bad face and just... No. Uh, no one's gonna be able to fix this arm. Fuck you, Pontu. I want to kill you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Like, <laughs> kill you. I'm going to use alchemy for the first time ever. And I hope I roll a nat one on his ass. <laughs> Just roll. You're going to touch you. You're going to have a plus zero in the chat. you got to try and do, like, flesh alchemy. No, actually, oh. for alchemy, I have a plus two. But guess what? I at least have a somewhat chance. <laughs> no, he said it's only a nat 20 with flesh. Yeah, that, what he said at the beginning about shit. Ivan's in the house, I'm like, Ivan attempts to push a wall over on Pontu, Nat once twice in a row, he's literally in the house now. <laughs> GG. I said a car, not a house. My car! I oh, wanted to be Christine, man. not the poltergeist. Is that painting watching me? Oh wait, it's just Ivan. Rip. Insane, man. <laughs> I thought it was so close to getting my arm fixed so I could actually do some fucking upgrades. And get... I thought you were too. I was. I'm so. <laughs> Fuck you, Pot. <laughs> well, back to the matter at hand here, Ivan. How's the training been going? Uh, the training's been going well, actually. I've been doing very well with my marksman, and I feel like once. Once I get my hands on a, a, few, a few more equipment, I'll be um, all set and ready to go out and show my, my worth. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. I'll show them my like, gun blade. I'm like, yeah, this is actually a unique gun that I, that I only use. Sherman's, be been, Sherman's been okay seeing your custom weapons? I mean, I don't think he's had an issue with them. Okay. And if he does, then I mean, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mechanic. What can I say? I like to have uniqueness. I like to have my own style. So has any talk about that come up at all about the Land Cruiser family? Uh, no, not. Hang on, one second, Carlos. Hang on. Sorry, I had to flip them all off while they're fucking driving past it a lot. Of, Cause I don't give a fuck where I'm from. This town, I will, I know, I'll know who the fuck it is. Like, yo, slow the fuck down, bro. There's kids on the street. <laughs> but um, uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Bro, Sorry. I'll put that shit on <laughs> camera. I'll turn the whole camera. You guys can see me fucking literally beat the living. All right, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, do it. Dude, you just see me roundhouse kick somebody? Fuck, I just spinning kick, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm tiny enough, bro, where I can actually get my foot in the air. I'm like, oh, let's do this, bro. First person that pisses me off again, I'm literally, fuck it. I'm going for the spin kick. It's happening. Like, if I can lift a fucking 200-pound garbage bag, uh, garbage can and lift it over my head and dump it into a d dump truck, I'm tossing somebody. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Calm down, Red. Yeah, no, not your size, bro. I'm I'm jumping on your back, bro. There's no way around that. Just do what <laughs> like, we do in my area. When you got people with loud cars driving by, you just wait till you know they're coming by, and you put a thirty out six round into the engine block. Ass, bro. Dude, we can't do that shit because we're in the city here, bro. Like, but that shit where you're at, you can do that. All right, but I'm sorry. I keep. Anyways. There's alternatives. Just try and kiss them. What? Just oh try and kiss God. them. It'll freak them out. They're gonna run away. 
No. Nope. In nope. this area, you're actually more likely to get shot if you try to kiss another dude than if you just shoot him at his car. No, what if they kiss people? What if they actually... <laughs> actually, it's about the same. I was gonna say, uh, it's... <laughs> it feels what like they they actually... close to like... for the kiss. Yeah, I'm like, no, <laughs> get naked <laughs> first. There you go. There you um, go. They won't come on drive by your house you... anymore. <laughs> Or, or like that cyanide happiness bit. There's no right, disturbing the peace so. laws in Pennsylvania, so that's not against the law to be on your own property naked. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, nothing's been brought up about my family, honestly. Not that I could really hear. Um, why? How come? You, why do you ask? I'm just trying to get a full scope for the situation. Oh. I've heard some interesting rumors about your family. From what I understood, they were just rumors. I just wanted to make sure that that was the case. Well, uh, what kind of rumors are you hearing? I honestly, since I've joined the military, uh, I've I've had a kind of like an uneasy feeling about some of the negotiations that have been going on with the military, but I've never really brought any of it up. Oh, I've just heard stuff about anti-military action that was being taken. All of it was very minor, though, but it was coming from some interesting people, as I understand a couple of your teammates. Oh, I mean, I highly doubt that. Like, my father makes the the vehicles for the military. I highly doubt that he's trying to stir up any ruckus like that. From what I know, he's always been a keen man, like a keen man on a straight path. Never really been one to, you know stir up any ruckus. If anything, I probably stirred up more ruckus than he has in his entire life. <laughs> Matthew, Tony, I'm coming for you. Sorry, I'm just seeing... Oh, that's, that's now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, final, that final fight between those two really pissed me the fuck off. You've sacrificed everyone else. Bitch, what? He's literally sacrificed himself. He's literally sacrifi sacrificed so much that isn't about that. And you went along with most of it. You encouraged most of it. You brought up martial law. Yo, what a line would that be, though? She said, you're just following yours. We're <laughs> <laughs> so talking so about Roby. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, that, that explains why I'm lost. That's why I'm okay being lost now. Max, thank you, Tony, I'm coming for you. Tony, when Max is done with you, no amount of med kits will save you. <laughs> God damn, if I ever need to, like, fill in a really stupid line, that's what it's going to be. You're just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> really should have kept that now in. That I I did. Some of the salt stuff. He's a real... She's a real girl now, and she's dead. Rip. Sorry, Mike. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay, but I'm sorry. <laughs> she got a power up, and then she got a dead. I can't watch Ruby end it before that episode, so I can't watch it anymore. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right. All right. Back to focus. Yes. Well, Ivan, I think that pretty much answers everything I need from you. Okay. Let me know if you ever uh, need anything, Max. Or Adam. Uh, let me know if you ever need anything, Kimberly. You seem like a and you as well. A pretty trustworthy guy. Honestly, you got Thank me talking you. more than some of my teammates have. Thank you. I do my best on that. I'm sure you do. I'm just kidding. That's just, that was just my meta. Like, sorry, that's my meta game talk. These <laughs> motherfuckers are just talking me up. I know. I can't. I'm not going to use my meta game knowledge with Ivan with Kimberly. Hagane and him kind of just, you know, but like, I'll make. I don't have any issues, so. Yeah. If you have no idea what Kimberly's done, he typically treats you just like an absolute gentleman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, I shook his hand. Like, I like I knew he was from my class. Like, I know he's strong and I know he's powerful. He's got up high ranks. I'm like, oh, I'm going to fucking. I'm respecting this dude. Like, that's what I was trained to do. Like, I'll give him the I respect. I trust Kimberly about as much as I trust our current administration. God. Okay, yeah. fine. The government as a whole. I. I I'll, I'll shut up. Connor, I'll shut up. I won't even. I, won't. <laughs> I gave it a second so you can cut that part out. 
Um, At least if I'm going to say something I know you need to take out of the video, I will give enough of a pause for you to be able to do so easily. I appreciate that. But, Kimberly, I, re- I respect it. I'll, um, I'll hopefully we'll see each other again soon so we can try to fix this. I hope I'll we take will. It. And be like, if I if uh, we ever come across each other on the battlefield, I'll make sh- I'll try to my best to make sure no one gets close to you from a distance. Oh, don't worry about me. I can handle myself. So I've heard. So I've heard. Well, best of luck out there. Thank you. You as well. And I'll head out. Is it? Yeah. yeah. You head on out, and you all make your way back. Damn it, I want, I want to know what the high is going to be. If I fucking fix my arm. I want my arm fixed, damn it. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, if you would have shared the goods. <laughs> Listen, if I can make a good friendship with Kimberly, like, first of all, I know that, like, hopefully, if I become a friend, hey, you need I to won't call your, You need to call your boy Greed up and tell him to make good on his deal. So we can yeah, just this man doesn't have friends. He's Kimberly. <laughs> Greek knows me. I'm making good friends with Kimberly. I'll make friends with all these dark fuckers. Let's go. He literally like, I'm okay. cut his his t- his uh people that he was working with because he felt like it. Before he died, okay. he cocked them because he felt like. It. Are yeah. you sure you want to fuck with? Him? <laughs> you all are missing the most I don't important know this. piece of information. And he's a strong. Listen, from what I know, he is uh, ranked higher than all of us, and he was starting. With us at the very beginning. We accumulated that high. I know something's up. You'll die anyway. I don't give a I'm not going to die. Fuck you, Eli. I ain't dying. You don't have control over that. I'd like to use his arm as an alchemical focus, and I'm going to spear his fucking heart. (laughs) (laughs) You know who else can have control over his own life? Epstein. That I'll agree with. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? Sorry. Uh, just an Epstein killed himself joke, or didn't kill himself joke. Oh, ha. Yeah, I know that. I'll agree on that one. That's the yeah. fuck out of here with that bullshit. There's no fucking way. And that's just too way too coincidences. Ob- too many. Yeah, it's way too obvious that you motherfuckers killed him. Come on. Even like now, a stupid owner like me. Now, John no McAfee. Like, come that, on. That, that, one's, that guy's insane one way or another. I have no clue what happened with him. Audience, I do not promote this John talk. McAfee. Sorry, who? John Mc, McAfee. Who the fuck is that again? He's the guy who made the, the McAfee word. software. Fat motherfucker. Nope, no idea. He... <laughs> He he, he's an interesting life. guy, but he made he did some crazy shit. Oh, uh, I have no idea the circumstances of this. I'm, I haven't looked into it. I just looked some of the details. I was like, well, that's interesting. Hmm. That's as far as my education on that goes. I know Kill- Bill Cosby just got released not that long ago. Yeah, yeah I heard about that. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, on a, no. uh, pretty much on a technicality. I was like, how the fuck did the- Oh, okay. So you see, technically, I've now been tried for the same crime twice. Ooh. Wait, what? That's how they. There was how... there was a whole thing that happened. One of the people he had a previous suit where someone said they weren't like, where a whole thing happened. But then a person from that previous suit was also involved in a current suit against him, but they weren't supposed to be, and that caused the entire suit to have to be a uh, like a mistrial or whatever. Because it's double right. jeopardy. Yeah. So it's not like any proof was found that he didn't do it or anything like that. It was just literal technicality. Oh my god. So he it's like he did it, but because of this. Yeah, in the first gonna... case he even admits to doing it. The one that caused the whole situation. It's, it's yeah. tragic. That shit's so fucking fuck it. That's why this year will forever be known as the what the fuck year? 2021. <laughs> and next year will be. Anyways. Please. 
<laughs> yeah, anyway, that's good. Thing, bro. <laughs> All right. Another week goes by. You hear a knock on your door. I didn't get to ask questions. Oh, no, were you trying to ask more questions to Sherman? I was going to ask when the guys came back. What? Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. So, uh, what did they pull you guys out for? I just had a talk. With who? A whole lot of nothing, to be honest. <laughs> Wasn't even really worth it. They've <laughs> given you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Max says, well, Kimberly was there. He just wanted to ask us some things. Oh, okay. He's going to say uh, that. He talked, he talked to me recently, so that might be why they didn't bother taking me. That could be. No, nothing much happened. Yeah, we just got to ask some questions. Yeah, Wait. he asked me some stuff when I ran into him, so he probably figured there was nothing to follow up with me. Maybe. Yep. Some top that's what I'm that going. That's the deal. assumption that that Asawa is going to go under, and that is going to be it. That might be all it is. It may or may not be, but that's what he's going to go with. All right, anything else? Uh, is uh, nope. General Sherman in this room? Yeah, you that's are a player file because he's here. Okay, yeah, I will say nothing. Never mind. <laughs> I want to go and talk to Sherman. <laughs> all right. Privately? Very. All right. You two walk outside. I wonder what they're talking about. I need to read notes from the back store. (laughs) He said very privately, so I'm guessing they're walking a ways away. Yes. Uh, We are (laughs) gone. He's paying with his ear up to the door. Yeah, I was like, he's stepping outside. Let me get this juicy info. (laughs) Where the fuck? Uh, but this is just going to happen. I look over at Max. I'm like, Max, you do realize that actions like this are what lead people to not trust you. Well, he said they didn't like actually go to the door, so I'm not actually doing it. Like, <laughs> I was going to walk into the door if if they were actually right outside. I cannot but find the shit for the life. <sighs> but uh, now that since they're actually gone, though. Um, like simultaneously, whenever you finish that conversation, like my conversation will also be happening. You can go ahead. I'm gonna find the. All right. <clears throat> well, uh, no offense, but uh, now that Sherman is gone, uh, I uh, would like to say, so, uh, ironically, uh, Kimberly is on a uh, top secret mission that uh, it would reveal no information about. Uh, we were all individually questioned, um, assuming we asked different questions. Uh, does anyone find this uh, moderately suspicious? Any take I'll like Kimberly. Shut up, Tony. I wasn't asking you. Not really. Okay. He, was quite, <laughs> he was quite friendly to me, honestly. We just talked about uh, the military, the school life, uh, the family. Uh, shook his hand and everything. He seemed like a quite nice gentleman, actually. From what I've observed, this seems to be pretty standard for Kimberly's modem operandi. Well, there's something different this time, actually. Tony, you know, I'm sorry. What, what did what did Kimberly ask you? He just asked me some stuff about how the training's been going, Sherman. Sure. Uh, any information I might have had that. Might not have come up in a report about the uh, traitor alchemists. Just that yeah. stuff. Sense motive. Uh, you Next feel as though he's being genuine to you. Okay. I wasn't sure if you were just like role playing him. I was still going to do it if, he, if he's actually. Yeah. Or I will be role playing him, but I have okay. no reason to think that he would lie in this scenario. Okay. And his breath smells like vomit. <laughs> yeah. It always right. has. Always will. Right. <laughs> always has been. <laughs> Now, as you all, uh, as you all already know or are aware, I, I guess we all were made aware of that, the whole conversation with Pontu and everything, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, as we're all already aware, um, you know, the traders are, are headed east. But uh, does anyone get like the feeling that perhaps, um, you know, his primary objective was not the traders, 
uh, but possibly us or uh, an individual uh, within this uh, this whole gang of people, the party, or whatever we call ourselves. There's definitely a possibility. I mean, there is a lot uh, that each of us individually stands out. Um, Elijah, with his direct ties to the Fuhrer, as well as some higher-ups. Me being Ishvalin and the tensions currently with Ishval. Ivan, with being a member of the Land Cruiser family and their connections to the military. You, with your connections to, well... Being a traitor, Tony says. What do you think, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say morally gray actions, but that is how a lot of people are viewing it. Tomato, tomato. And Tony, looking at him, I'm going to be, like, I'm looking at him irritated, but and you definitely standing out as a up-and-coming alchemist. Also could be uh, Sherman. Or Jake. These are uh, awful possibilities. And of course, this is all theoretical. Uh, preferably, I'd not like to talk about this while Sherman is in the room. Um, to further his suspicion of me, you know, for starters. And uh, to, you know, if he decides that maybe that this is a serious allegation, take things into his own hands, which may make the situation worse. So, I. Uh, Preferably, you know, I would like to keep, uh, you know, this information, you know, away from from him. You know, he doesn't need need to know need to know basis. Keep so the information out of our superior officer's uh, access. Sounds like Max. Yep. Well, Tony, would I you would like to careful. tell him? Traitor. I would be careful what kind of information you try to limit. Simply just wondering what the traitor alchemists are up to. I don't see any. I don't see anything wrong about being curious of that, or even bringing up to Sherman that as a possibility. But I would definitely be careful of any actions pertaining to it or expressing certain opinions. I recently voiced a little bit of an opinion and. I could tell it rubbed Sherman the wrong way, so I am. While I still have my opinion on it, I'm just smart enough to know not to voice it around certain people. Yeah. I guess uh, <clears throat> all I'm saying is I, I, I get the feeling that there's, uh, there's not just two parties in, uh, in this game of chess. In fact, I think this is no longer a game of chess. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there's the traitors. Um, but, you know, I, I start to get the feeling that there is maybe one or two or maybe even three opposing forces within the military itself. And military aside, there's, you know, could be some other forces moving. Uh, I think we should, uh, we should tread carefully. Uh, I mean, maybe any a little closer. country that this military doesn't have complete control over is already one force that they're fighting. Ishval sounds like a war with them will become an inevitability. I'm sure there are others in the military that may not see eye to eye with the upper brass. So there could be stuff getting plotted. We don't know. Obviously, we have the traitor alchemists. We have any other nations, there could be other rogues, splinter groups, or anything like that. There could be a dozen different enemies that our current military could be fighting against, either actively or passively. And there's probably stuff we don't know about. But we are still students. We are still in the academy, for all intents and purposes. And even if there is bigger things at play, I really don't think that any of us, even Tony or Elijah, are ready to stick our noses into anything like this. So, obviously, we 
should be observant. But if we see or hear anything that leans towards stuff like that, I truly believe that we should pass any of this information along to Sherman. Because if we get involved in it, if we don't end up dead by their hands, we may end up dead by his. Yeah. And as true as that may be, I think uh, we may be just a tad bit too late. Then the best thing we can do right now is keep our noses clean and learn what we can from Sherman to become stronger so that if we do get drug in, we're more prepared otherwise. And make sure we don't get ourselves involved in something we shouldn't. And I'm going to narrow my eyes at max as I say that. <laughs> well, I well I agree. We should get stronger. Uh, getting your hands dirty every once in a while uh, is uh, is a necessity. Well, for me at least. Uh, one note, real quick, before we get too far from it, uh, the Ishval Civil War has started already. The medic. Well, it, we it was brought up that it might start. Okay. It has officially started. Okay, we we can infer at this point like that's already started because of yeah. Okay, all right, cool. cool. The, the official okay. declaration came through and everything, so it has officially started. It's just at really relatively minor stages at the moment. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. I think you were there for the session. Mm. I double checked my notes to make sure I mentioned it, and I do have it said. Which session was it? Uh, mission. Six, and it was also brought up in the recap of Mission Seven. I remember it. What was Mission Seven? Uh, Mission Seven was when a uh, gluttony and lust attacked you all inside your room. Yeah, I remember. That. Oh, well, okay, so it's been a while back. Yeah. Okay, that would be why it was far enough back that I didn't even realize it was brought up. Yeah, and that's a long time ago. <clears throat> that's I was double checking that. I was like, "Ooh, if that's if that's the case, I need to start that war immediately because we're almost <laughs> we're pretty much past the time." That's back when Hagenay was still relevant. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you will... have anything else you need to say to each other? I'll just uh, recap my statement and say that. The war with Ishval is going to be picking up if it hasn't already. And that will be the trigger. And that's when sides will start to form. We should take the information we have and use it. Ivan, you can't use the fireball jutsu. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say no more. This should be back soon. I think that would be best. Ivan, not Ivan, Max, I can tell you have your own ambitions that may not necessarily line up with the goals of the military. What do you mean? I'm all for the military. Not you, Ivan. I meant Max. Yeah, I knew. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm and everything. Some aspects of what I wish to pursue may not always line up with the military doctrine as well. The difference is, I know for a fact that I can't afford to do anything outside the guise of the military for fear of retribution. So if you're going to pursue something similar to that, I would recommend you wait until you are at least far enough in that you can operate with more free reign. So he takes notes on what I'm about now you to can op that, that wasn't what I meant, but okay. I'm just I'm just role playing as Tony. I know. You just listen to this. You just. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would recommend you might want to try to keep your nose clean for the time being, if you're going to try to pursue things that are outside the guise of our effective orders. You may want to do it when you have a greater degree of freedom and you are not being directly monitored at all times. I'm definitely looking for a more opportune moment. But uh, if I see a golden opportunity, then I'll take it. 
And like I said, the military doesn't really push a lot with healers, which is something I want to do. So, I was lucky enough that they were willing to grant me an audience with the Angel Alchemist to learn more, because I would imagine that's not part of their normal curriculum. And I definitely learned a lot of information from that. I want to learn more, but I also don't want to do anything that would be detrimental to my career in the military. Because going against the military for a little bit of information, even if it doesn't cause you to get immediately executed, could cause you to lose out on opportunities down the road that would have been more beneficial. True enough. And if that, you decide to jump on a random opportunity that goes against the military, I cannot say that most of us in this group are going to join you on it. Unless it's going to directly hurt us, I don't believe anyone here will hinder you. But I can't say a lot of us would go with you on it. So just keep that in mind as well. You are a team member and we do care about you. But we have to watch out for ourselves first and foremost. Yeah, understood. I'll well, keep this in mind. It's nothing personal. We all have our own goals and ambition. And while I have no problem helping out others, I'm not really willing to risk my career with the military for something that could be considered a suicide mission. Yeah. And don't worry. I, I consider you all teammates as well. Even you, Tony. Somewhat. Oh, and yeah, we're you. teammates. <laughs> Head. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're teammates. Right. Tony, no matter how much I hate it. Oh, yeah, we're teammates, all right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't try to get you killed. No. <laughs> Tony's just going to be like, I'm on this team because, you know, I'm a good soldier and I follow orders and I, you know, enjoy the military. And you're on this team so that way I can keep my eyes on you. Keep telling on yourself all that. of us. He's saying this specifically to Max. You keep telling yourself that, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I digress. <laughs> they should be arriving back soon. You yes, told them? Very, very ironic that that uh, conversation, that they took that long for how long that conversation took. But just <laughs> ironic, it was perfect timing. So real quick, like, uh, is he supposed to be here? Who? This guy? No, I dragged him on, and then you all had conversations, and so I've just moved him up in the corner. Okay, all right. I was like, uh... <laughs> I'm booked. How long has he been here? All right, Elijah, you're talking to Sherman. Eli? Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. We gave him all this time to get prepared, and then he's not even ready. <laughs> Elijah. He was too engrossed into that conversation. We gave him that sweet role play. Elijah. He's not even here. <laughs> it's not even at the call at the moment. Yeah, he just dropped like just that only just now. Like <laughs> I heard the notification go off. Alright. Uh so what's gonna happen here? This is an editor's note to Connor. Uh have that discussion later. We're skipping ahead. Did he DM like, you what he was going to talk about? Edit it. No, he did not. Uh, well, I guess we just don't even know. Yes. <laughs> yep, so we're just going to edit it in in post. I got to get everyone evenly spaced out to match my fucking OCD. Even though I don't have OCD. I just, you know, one of those sheep who say that. Yeah, God, let damn me it. No, I said you. sheep <laughs> because fucking Rebecca called me one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> all right so one week passes from that incident still love you connor just so you know you're still one of our favorite people <laughs> hey, y'all too 
Yay. <laughs> I'm like bottom tier. I'm at the bottom wait, of that wait, list. Wait, where the fuck is this? Mike's the very Eric. worst person in my mind. Yeah. Yes. Like the of the list. Yep. <laughs> I apologize. I had that tick call. Okay. Well, you and Sherman are having your conversation. All right, sir. I'm completely honest with you because I. Uh, kind of got my out. curious. One second. Hello, hello. Hello. Still All right, out at the end there. Shut up. Anyway, so hello again. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, sir, because I, uh, my curiosity is peaked in many ways, and I don't know the truth. Can't handle can't the truth. Truth. I'm going to ask you this, and if you <laughs> can't answer me, I understand. Whatever you do with the information, I really can't control, so we'll see what happens. I'm okay, going to get on tell with it, son. I'm going to tell you a couple words. Tell me what they mean to you. Rainbow. Colors. Food. Reverie. The number seven. Right. Reverie's the first word? Yes. Yeah, so when I think of a reverie, I think of religion. Okay. Cameron. A soldier. Fisk. Soldier. Wellesley. Soldier. South City. Military. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh, well, it's a city. When I was a kid, my father um, it kind of left my mind for a while. I mean, he was always muttering that to himself whenever he, we were hanging out. Those are all and... cities here, aren't they? <laughs> he would have said city to all of those then. Okay. It, he was. Oh, he would always mention those um, those words, always in that order, and saying that it must have been a coincidence. And I was very young whenever that whenever he was doing that. I was highly confused. Do you have any sort of? upwards military information about those about any of those cities he kind of thinks on it for a second well a few of them they were the sites of uh well, the sites of military campaigns fisk uh, back in 1799 that was when there was the uh, uh it's referred to as fisk's bloodshed We tried to get, we the military tried to get them into our nation. They resisted, and as such, we were forced to fight them for their territory. Uh, Reverie would be the very first war that created a mistress. I'm afraid I'm not the most well versed in history. It was, a, I believe, it was a civil war, and in the end, the victor created this country. Cameron was another war. 1661. And uh, Wellesley is another war. 1811. And South City, at that time it was Arago, our enemies to the south. It was another war. When did that one happen? That one would be uh, 1835. Most recent one in our memory. No date correlation. Except they're in order. Well, no shit. Okay. Ted okay. granted them out of order, too. <laughs> so, I'm afraid beyond that, I can't think of any correlation between them. 
I know your father left the military. It's possible he just wasn't a fan of the militaristic code. But that's who we are. That's how we've expanded. That's That's all they ever talked about. There's no way. I don't know what to tell you, son. My father was a military man through and through. He just tried to instill that in me whenever I was very young. And, well, sappy shit aside, I really don't... I want to know what spooked him so badly, to be honest with you. Child services. I have no idea what it was. My understanding is he left the military quite suddenly. But there wasn't any bad blood. He didn't make any complaints. He didn't have any remarks. Nothing about the uh, higher-ups, the lower downs. There was nothing. He just left one day. Yeah. (sighs) Thank you for your information. I'm sorry for bothering you. I... Honestly, I was asked about my about um, any correlation between my father and Pontu Gigi. Did they know each other? Well, most state alchemists had some correlation, some familiarity with each other. Anything directly you would remember? I'm afraid not. I never really oversaw either of them. Makes sense. Right. <sighs> I appreciate it. Mm. Sorry, I can't be more help. If there's some correlation, though, I can try and pass it on. See if there's uh, a code in there somewhere that might be figured out. Thank you. My curiosity is pretty high, considering... I know a couple things nowadays that I didn't quite know back then. In the morning, I'll go ahead and get that taken care of. If there's a code in there, we'll break it down. Alright. Let me know. Will do. He begins walking back. I know. Damn you, Connor. I now need to make a note in here. Well, you're unraveling you my code. You hear a piece of glass come flying toward the back of your head. GG. You're too late, Ken. I've already solved the case. <laughs> <laughs> it is to I like it. Like, all right, now I gotta kill. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like uh, Sherman is just an old dog that's trying to deal with whatever the fuck he's doing. He's he's very loyal, but I, but he's I have a feeling that he doesn't really want um certain things. Maybe. I don't, maybe he's I could be wrong. Maybe I'm, yeah. Who knows? I hope he doesn't fuck me over. <laughs> what you mean, like tonight when he appears over you in your sleep? Oh, hey, baby. And then I can frame it on Tony. <laughs> I left it warm for you. <laughs> Leave that personal execution. Tony and fucking El Sawa already in there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Not Ivan, because he's skinny. I don't like him. Remember, kids. Gay soldiers. <laughs> All right. Things get desperate. <laughs> Does the central military have a don't ask, don't tell policy? You want to find I out? This question was asked before. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it was asked before. <laughs> uh, in which case, I, I think I said yes, because it's kind of in that same time frame. How quaint. Then again, in that time frame, they also didn't allow women in the military yet. This is true. Yeah, they didn't really give a fuck. They were like, oh, bodies? Let's go. Besides the women, of course, because they could make babies. Right. Uh, they do not have that, then. That will be the call. Oh. You can be openly gay. 
Just uh, shout out. You remember to sexual that. harassment is still a thing. <laughs> Alexander so no, Armstrong. Not doing anything like that to yeah. any of your fellow your fellow soldiers, men, women, nothing like that. Even the kids. Yeah, especially the kids. Who want to die? So, finally, one week passes. Yay. You were all getting ready for training one morning. Open up bright and early. You hear a knock on the door. Sherman opens it to see another soldier that you have met prior. And sir, he says, saluting. I've uh, come to inform you that Kimberly has left the city uh, voluntarily, but under strange circumstances. Strange? Soldier shakes his head. Uh, he was inspecting the town the last few days and interrogating some of our men as well as a number of civilians. It caused a bit of a stir in town. Do you know why I left? Soldier shakes his head again. I'm afraid not. He might have found something. Uh, Sergeant Johnson from Central uh, came in. He gave him a package. Uh, one of the men recalls seeing a huge grin on Kimberly's face and then he just headed out east. Motherfucker couldn't find me before he left? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Sherman. Can, can I roll for it? <laughs> no, you can't out roll for it. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Sergeant Johnson. Or uh, Sherman goes, Sergeant Johnson. From Central, he said. Soldier Nuts said, yes, sir. Came on the train, delivered the package, left immediately. Fun. So long as he's out of our hair, that's what matters. Tell the town he won't trouble us anymore. Sir, he salutes again, walks off. And Sherman closes the door. Good riddance. All right, everyone. Let's get to training. Now one more week passes by. Dun, 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 dun. We level up. <laughs> now you all... You've woken up. You see Sherman walks out of his room fully equipped. Everyone, oh, grab your gear. It's time for a competition. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And y'all get ready, except for Tony, who's currently vomiting into the bathroom. I shoot Ivan in the forehead. Did I win? You should have ate the fresh bear. That stuff's been sitting there forever. Yeah. One second, I'm going to oh, call again. Since, there was stuff that's uh, relatively not important. Oh, and what? Since Nick's popping out, I'm going to go take a leak real quick. Okay. okay. I figure that way we'll just take like a two minute. Yeah. All uh, good. I say, um, um, are we using like all like my. So do I get my combat gun and my sword and combat knife, or what's good? Like, what are we? All of our gear? Oh, you don't know yet. Oh, okay. He told you oh, to get to take gear. to grab your gear. So yeah, grab my gear. Do, 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 do. Listen, you want to give us some equipment too? That's cool. Whatever, I ain't gonna complain. I'll take what I get. I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Dude, I drink a monster, Better. bro. I'm fucked. Like I'm like over here, like let go, son. Like, and I've been like muted, so I've been like not talking as much. So I'm like, all right, I'm getting this in real quick. Whether there's no cars coming, yeah, what's good, boys? <laughs> now it's the time of night where cars stop stop coming by, so it's like, yeah. But the new place, though, guys, I got I got the new house, by the way. Oh hell yeah! Congrats. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. It's a three-bedroom house, one and a half baths, a uh, fully functional working garage. So the garage door works. Um, I have a backyard, a front yard, and it's on the corner. So, like, I, it's nice. Hell I can't easy. wait. I'm making the, to make the garage, like, my shop so I can have my tournaments and stuff there. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to – I'll have, like um, – I'll probably do, like, my setup there, like, my computer and stuff. So that way that's quiet. No, no one's there. Got a – I gotta make sure my internet can reach there. If it can't reach there, then I'll fucking uh, use the extra spare room we have. But yeah, you might be able to put a <laughs> Wi-Fi booster toward the back of the house and bump the uh, bump well, your range up. Could do that. 
That's what I did. Uh, I have a Wi-Fi booster in my generator room, which is on the end of the house, and that boosts the signal all the way up to my shed. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Yeah, be wary of oh, yeah. stuff. The uh, interference. There's some uh, things that interfere with radio signals. Well, Mike, I apologize for this, but I have to ask: you have any opinions on what a uh, what your governor said this morning? <laughs> I try not to have any opinions. That... <laughs> Wait, why? What the governor? Mine's about, mine's about to get in so, peak, so. They're they're having a bit of a crisis uh, with hospitalizations in Florida. Um, of that whole surprise. Thing, right? It's or... COVID related. Um, oh, okay. But my <laughs> his statement, no one even said anything. But he made a statement where. It's just like, all right, and I don't want to hear anything about COVID because it's about the southern border security. That's the issue. It's, what? it's like no one said a thing to him, but he's just immediately already gone into deflecting. There's not a bullet coming at him, but he's still trying to deflect. I what just think it's hilarious. Idea, man. Like, there's, Listen, there's a time and a place. The president, <laughs> the president just... fucking told our governor he should probably step down because there's new allegations against him or whatever. Yeah, that's stuff I'm mixed on with him. Yeah, he's an like, I, like I heard his report and I saw a lot of the stuff he put out. And I was like, ah, shit, that's a lot of like the same stuff that happened to Vic Mignogna, where it's just like cultural over familiarity stuff. Yeah, I, I don't even like I don't really keep up with him like much politics, so I, like I don't really have much to say on it. I just know he's not like he's an idiot. Like from what I've heard, my brother in law keeps in like you know he does a bunch of the like, government shit. Like he keeps in track so when i hear shit from him i'm like oh oh okay all right i know i know you know your facts so i'll listen to, like what he's saying i'm like oh damn he really is an idiot all right no shit yeah, <clears throat> i've just seen a little bit on the stuff involving cuomo but i'm i don't consider myself educated enough on the topic to have a a good opinion right no yeah see, see same here and that makes my own state so like <laughs> good all right i see anything where a government <laughs> official is going to jail is a good thing yeah. I don't trust the government. Plain and I know you don't. I know you don't. And I'm it, not it, saying it's one party or the other. I don't trust. Period. I know. Ignorance is. I'll be right back. I got see. Unfortunately, see ignorance can't. of the law is no excuse. Bro. So that would be, that's a thing. Uh, just a generic statement. Ignorance is bliss and knowledge is vexation. It is. It's and true, I have maybe. a couple of friends that are conspiracy theorists, so I just monitor, I observe, and act accordingly. Which all my actions have been. I have extra food and water stashed at the house. Firearms and ammunition. Keep gas in the car. And whatever scenario comes, I'm as best equipped as I can, be it a civil war or bad weather or the zombie apocalypse. I'll just wait for this next hurricane. That's that's that'll be it. <laughs> there we go. There's gonna be a super hurricane that like continues to to gain traction until it just like goes all the way through the US. Just like can we just get one it's... on the west coast and just sink California? Because that's gonna get rid of about Fifty percent of the problems in this country is we just get rid of California. <laughs> Hope you're ready. It's going to be a Cat Six hurricane, Mike. They'll oh, have yeah. to declare it super storm Cat Six, twenty twenty one. If things Let's get, get any worse, I'm moving to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> the you're only right? problem Alaska's is, this is I, have to, I have to find out how you transport firearms through Canada. You, you take, take a boat, boat around through. Canada. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> just take a boat, yeah. Like around their waters. You have to go all the way around because you can't. You have to go far that. enough out that it's considered international waters. Yeah, exactly. Like you have to go all the way around. Like because <laughs> half the firearms I currently own are actually illegal in Canada now. And that that'll be your only way. Uh, I'll, just, I'll commission the boat for me, you. Actually, right? I'll try some waters and we'll we'll get this going. I got you. All right, well, Nick's uh, not coming back for a little bit here, so... I was going to say, like, uh, is he coming back or... Uh... <laughs> he's decided he's going to sit this out. His, uh, his tummy is real, real grumbly. Your tummy's grumbly, buddy. It's okay. Why don't you go sit down with Tony last night? 
Watch her just go have a juice box. Take a seat with the big boys. Uh, on the... Oh my god. I'm just trying to make him f- get rid of get rid of his artwork. Did uh did Tamale call and he had to go? Uh, apparently his family. Tamale oh, called. I think he and Tamale are together again. Who knows? God, who has family? Yeah. Hey. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, you're not Alchemist. We're gonna put you here in the center. I mean, yeah. God, imagine, imagine like having kids nowadays. That's just yeah. disgusting. Wait, Don't what? Be. Why would you? I'm bring looking at you, Zach. Why would you bring <laughs> kids into this world when there's so many kids out there that don't have a good home? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> whoa! Oh First, I'm sorry. I've <laughs> heard this line before. Sorry. Jesus Christ! Sorry. <laughs> I it's not my fault. Oh well, yes. But um, geez, that last too, I like, checked, I didn't realize your she... wife was raping you. Yeah, oh, bro. Um... <laughs> to a point, listen, listen, it's scary, bro. I'm like grabbing, I'm like grabbing. Onto the... You ever seen uh, what's that one scary movie? The scary movie too, when he's like getting dragged on the floor, like oh god. Yeah, that's what I'm being. I'm like. We know who. Well, we know who the man is in the, in the relationship. I mean, I thought that was already obvious. <laughs> I mean, it was. I just wanted to make. The I'm point. the bread. I'm listen. I make the bread, but she definitely makes like calls the shots. I mean, unless I really stand, might put my foot down for something. All right, you all walk out into an empty field. Mostly empty. You can see there's a couple of trees and rocks around, blah, blah. Same place you, were, you typically go to. You see Sherman walks ahead of you, gesturing you all to stop. And then turns around to look at you. Taps his walking oh. stick to the ground, causing dirt ahead of him to part and under him. Then oh, he hops into the center of it. So he taps it onto the stone that has been revealed underneath. And then you see he raises himself up 80 feet into the air. On a pillar of stone. He yells out to you. First one to touch me wins 500 cents. Don't let the others do it first. Oh, it's game on. And now we begin. El Sawa, you're up first. I think okay, do we they don't get to fuck with the other people, right? Or is that a like what any rule? No, no, you're absolutely allowed to fuck with the other people. Oh, they're gonna use alchemy against me. Come on. Fuck. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, Alright, I'm ready. Oh whoops. I'm still on Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he never said anything about not working together. What do you say? We split the uh, split the pot. I'm down. Let's do it. I'm okay and if you well. work together, then you get nothing. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I, I extend my leg to trip. See this uh, coming. A sidewalk is so big. You should have seen that coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh-huh. because the military doesn't promote teamwork. You <laughs> uh, said this ain't about the military. This is about that money. <laughs> All right, boys, then let's do it. First, want to touch him? You said, "Just touch him." Okay. First, want to touch him? You didn't say anything about how to. Be I'm going to draw my kunai with the stone. Rush up to the pillar, put it against the thing, and I'm going to fracture the stone All as right. far up as I can go. You're trying to f- completely break it apart so it tumbles, or fracture it so it's just damaged. Com- powder. Okay. What is your range on alchemy? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, twenty-five feet. Then it goes down. And you see it slams into the ground. He's able to keep it balanced himself while standing atop. It is now 55 feet high. Let's go. All right. All right. 
Max, you lower it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who says we're working together? <laughs> hey, you heard pulls out his gun and shoots Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you going to shoot me? Don't you fucking shoot me. No, don't you don't do acting on right me. Now. We're friends. No, I don't we'll just to right now. Together, take <laughs> the That's when I uh, <clears throat> whipped out my grappling hook. That's when I whipped out my gun. This damn grappling hook. And I'm going to try and shoot myself up there. Oh, wait. Is it my... Don't I have one attached to my hand now because you did that? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's go. All right. But I made one for myself. Mm -hmm. And I'll try and shoot it uh, 40 feet up. Okay. Try to wrap it around there and then try and pull myself up. Right, roll a hit check just to make sure. Yeah, of course. That one's going to happen. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, range. How far does the grappling hook go? <laughs> uh, should be 60 feet. For years. Oh, trying, bro. Is he trying to hit the pillar or trying to hit Sherman? <laughs> Max I'm is aiming for the pillar. Okay. All right. You see know, hooks around the pillar. He looks down. That's 15 feet below him. And then I guess I will... Uh, Wait till my turn to pull myself up, or to my next turn to pull myself up. <clears throat> All right, Ivan. I just DM'd you something real quick. Oh, you DM'd me on, not in game. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not good at the whisper. It never fucking works. Oh uh, yeah, just... you can absolutely do that. I'm gonna attempt to do that. All right. You want to say what it is so everyone hears it? Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to shoot my hand out as the as the grappling hook and try to touch him. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run up close. Make the hit check. All I right. Can that technically work. And that would be a ranged hit, right? Because it's you know. Yeah, I'll count that. All right. Cool. Cool. Why is my character? I can't move him. What's going on here? One second. There we go. You have, them, have the right tool selected. Yep. Yep. I got it now. All right. So, oops. That box. Damn it. There we go. There we go. And so you're moving up and shooting it. Yep. 27. See, it shoots up and you see just kind of bats it away with his walking stick. What? Come yeah. on. I hit you. Damn it. Yeah. No, that's yeah. a fail. Damn it. No, I mean, I mean, like, come on, motherfucker. Why you got to block it with your stick? You said it's say, touch. my stick's not me. Well, why'd you block it? It could have hit you. Get back exactly. Here. Can't make this <laughs> easy for you. Let me help. All right, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. And I guess that's the end of my turn since that'd be my attack, I guess. Yep. Sherman is going. Let's, what's his range where he can do this, actually? All right, so 27 doesn't hit. All right, all right. You have to roll high, boy. You to roll high. I called Sherman a bitch. Ivan's about to die. <laughs> Anything like that. I'm in the heat of the moment. I'm in the heat of the moment. Realized that the wrong character sheet pulled up for him. I'm sorry, Sherman. I'm sorry. Oh, did I hit that? No. Uh, that actually is a hit to his AC. So instead, he's going to use alchemic defense. Oh, come. Damn it. Fail, fail, fail. fail. <laughs> come on. If I, could, if I didn't get my arm healed. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Rebound. All right. Do I have anything here? Do I have anything here? Let's go. <laughs> Rebound. Here we you go. You're going to die. I've been trying to touch you with a grappling hook hand. <laughs> Max, thank you for this hand, bro. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Let's go. I was expecting me to be the one to get get rebounded on this this session, but I haven't even gotten a chance to even do that. Do it all. Give it to you. Oh God, Connor, what did I do? I'm sorry. This <laughs> might be tragic. All right, he has nothing that's allowed that's going to allow him to reroll. All yeah, right, it's uh, yeah, you hit him. I win. <laughs> Smacks on him. He goes, "Well, that was anticlimactic." <laughs> I mean, we can continue. Still, I'm down for it if you want to still tumble. But I got you, boss. He tosses the grappling, grappling hook back. <laughs> well, I guess that's that. I win money. Yeah. 
Sorry, guys. Beat. I didn't mean to make that that anticlimactic. I, I... <laughs> hey, yeah, you did it for the money. The second Nat won against you today. <laughs> yeah, right? But, I mean, the first one fucked me. The second one helped me. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. The gods well, have pleased. <laughs> 20 has spoken. Thank you, Truth. Thank you. <clears throat> Climbs on down. Makes a little walkway for himself. That is, uh, that is a shame. You're right. It is a shame. I kind of want to see what you were made of. It seems well, a little too. Weird. How about actually, double? I could. No, that was a basic thing, but it's a reflex save. It's not the alchemy he was doing. No, that's still a fail. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, we. I'll offer double or nothing if someone's willing to put up the other five hundred. No. Say no, no. Competition's a competition. Clearly, I underestimated the one who's not the alchemist. Never underestimated. Interesting tactics from the two of you. I saw what bring me closer risked being bringing me in range for everyone, which is the reason why Ivan was able to hit me. And Max, you were prepping for something on your next turn. I'm always prepping for something. I on look my next over turns. at Ivan with eyes <laughs> knowing that he wouldn't be able to reach him with a grappling hook if I hadn't brought him down. <laughs> Just be glad I didn't use that to choke you out last session. I would have probably broke I would have probably broken. Fused it more into his body. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Now we're and now we're one of his shoulders with my arms just around his neck. Pin him to the ground, hold his hand against his face, and then start fusing his hand to his face. Oh gosh. Then he just Ooh. Well, oh, that's a... now that that's uh, taken care of, I didn't have much else. I thought that would take longer. Uh, how about we head back into town? This is him in character, not me saying that, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good, sir. Back in the town? Uh... A celebration. Oh, here's your 500 cents, Ivan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll go grab a bite to eat. Did I owe anybody money? First off, now that I have money. Nope. No one's got oh, anything marked. I still have that suitcase full of money from Kimberly. Oh, yeah. I was, I was just about to say that. I was like, oh, you still get that suitcase money. I have that suitcase full of money. <laughs> well, you know, we had din- we all had dinner together, remember? <laughs> How about I did your 500 against that case? And we did I tell you guys about that? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I actually did. I told Max and Ivan about it. I didn't tell anybody else. Ooh, can I yeah, stop we, somewhere? We had dinner. I, oh, well, <laughs> when we have a chance to, I would like to stop at a, a, a supplies place, actually. Now that I have money, I can actually get some supplies. Uh, you get ready to. However, as you approach the town, uh, you see something happens here. And we're doing a little bit of scripted thing here, since Elijah's not actually here at the moment. Explosion. <laughs> yeah, an explosion happens. His face blows off. <laughs> uh, since it's been like three weeks uh, can I just distribute that money to? I want to distribute some money to Max and Ivan I'm going to give them each 500 from that case Okay. and then I'm going to keep the other th- I'm going to keep the other thousand okay Thanks, buddy. So you guys each get 500 a thousand cents let's go I can get my sniper let's go <laughs> <laughs> the right oh, of the sniper yeah. Dude, I I got you. When you're about to get, I got your back, bro. I got your six. I got your six all day, son. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him with eyes gleaming like I've or not. Asawa, I got you. I'm thankful, and I appreciate it. How sad uh, is it gonna be for it. Red when I've, if <laughs> Asawa eventually dies and I become Frank Challenger again and I become a better soldier than him? <laughs> hey, hey now, hey now, become soldiers. Hey now, yeah, no, be a team wiped and become soldiers. Oh my god, Go no alchemist. Like, <laughs> it's, it's even... <laughs> I'm gonna get some supplies. I'm gonna get some supplies. I'm gonna get okay. some supplies. So, so we hear something. Water. Sorry. So yeah, you see ahead. a soldier approaches you all. I give him a salute. Walks up. 
and he salutes you all. He goes, uh, excuse me, a moment of your time here, uh, Elijah. I uh, it's pleased to officially meet you. Um, there's someone who wishes to talk to you back at the outpost. Would now be a good time? Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. Splendid. I'll get him back to you shortly, Sherman. Uh, in the meantime, I hear that there's uh, an event going on at the restaurant just north of the outpost. Might be a good idea to head there if you're looking for a bite to eat. Sherman nods his head. Thanks. Uh, let's go. Let's just start walking off. As you see, they walk off. You see Sherman just kind of speaks softly to himself. Curious. He's never referred to me by name before. Oh? Are you suspicious, sir? Maybe. Let's go grab a bite to eat from that place. We'll stay close just in case something happens. Something okay. Great. If you want, sir, uh, Max is pretty good at scouting. If you think he could go out and get some intel while we all go out to eat. I think it would be best for him to grab a bite to eat with us. I don't want any of you straying away from me at the moment. Sir, yes, sir. As I salute. Yeah. Some guy named Tony may end up dead. Oh, I should have said Tony. Damn it. Sorry, Max. We're just out of you out. But I just know you're good at fucking... <laughs> now that all... Yeah. I just know that you're good at that kind of shit. So. But I should have said Tony because some... Tony doesn't have anything to do, really. Because so... Damn it. <laughs> Sherman walks up to the restaurant. Y'all see the outpost uh, south of you. And you see a big old sign reading Jake's Beefcakes. Some would say Beefcakes. Well, thank God we're not in the heroes and that we're here because I can eat this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you go in. Sherman takes a seat. I'll go up and sit up as well. Then, you see, I don't have a good token for this. I should have. I wasn't thinking. You see a man walks up and hands you your menus. Roll a perception check on this man. Yes, sir. That is perception. It's crazy. Perception. Oh, okay, that's not bad actually. Uh, rip that too. That's better. Oh my god, it's still a good roll though. The check. I've done one check this entire. I haven't. The only roll I've done this entire session has been my initiative. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey. Hey. So Alsawa and Max, you immediately catch this man and everything about what he looks like as you glance at him. You see is an overly buff man in what appears to be a swimsuit and nothing else. Lord have mercy. <laughs> We're in the wrong place. <laughs> at the wrong time. I am Jake and welcome to my beefcake. Alright, let's go, y'all. I think we've seen enough. <laughs> <laughs> Today all beefcakes are half off. He flexes, except for me. Yeah, I think we've seen enough. Right. I heard there's another place. Uh, I, I was going to name this gonna... place Jake Steaks. So I was like, what's a different word that rhymes? And then this all just flowed in. <laughs> I'm going to look at him and he says that and go, looks like you're closer to 90% off. <laughs> he buffs again. You see, like, bounces his pecs up and down. G-G. Is he that much Thank more you. buff than I actually am? Yeah, this guy's like insane. This is anime buff. Like Johnny Bravo. Oh my oh, god. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, my character is like he's in pretty good shape, but damn. I thought you were gonna say like Armstrong. <laughs> Maybe. No. In in anime in universe, that would be the closest thing to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm nowhere near Armstrong. This guy's probably like right near Armstrong. Yeah. Well, if you need anything, let me know. He goes to walk off. Just hear German sigh. Oh, I hate this place already. <laughs> here, here I saw I was sitting in the corner. I wonder if they're hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this the remaining part of the session was really hinging on Elijah being here. Lord, have mercy. 
I mean, it, well, it looks like I, I want, to, I want to say we could just wait for it, but like, at the who same the fuck time, does family show up at nine o'clock at night? Yeah, seriously, half my family's in bed at nine o'clock at night. What do we got on the menu? Oh, you, <laughs> uh, you see, the beefcakes are half off. You've got steak, jerky. Uh, is the can the jerky what be? What the fuck's that word? Uh, pork chops. Can the jerky be packaged up for later? Can it be what? Can it be packaged up for later? Like I can have it for rations. Like yeah. a to-go plate. Can I uh, get two orders of the of that to go? And then of course can I you can. A, a, can I get the steak? Uh, I want the I want like the, I want the best steak. I want like everything with. It. I want the works, man. I want like right. the best. Life. I still have five pounds of salted meat in my bag. <laughs> he says, "Choice meat," and he slaps his ass. Coming up. God damn it! No, I just want <laughs> food, boss. Chairman, help. <laughs> Chairman, help! I need the drill. I tried to I tell you about the this. rest of you. Hmm. I look at him. I'm paying, guys. Get what you want. Hmm. I will try the beefcakes. Oh, and right. some pork chops. You brave, brave man. All right. And uh, Co- get a little bit of beef jerky. Okay. Uh, we don't. Are we are not allowed to have pork where I come from, and most of the jerky that I've had is made out of scorpion. Well. I'm happy I don't come from where you come from. <laughs> no. You, you are should be happy you are not. <laughs> to, uh, does Tony like Ivan? He doesn't, right? No. I mean, not really. Like, I'd like five <laughs> steaks. Rip. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I look I'm gonna over to look up why, like, so you can throw them all up. I'm not paying for I'm him. gonna look up and be like, besides, if he's gonna do that, he's paying for his own. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm gonna like, fine, fine steak. one steak. Thank you. Be reasonable. If you want some jerky, I'll get you some jerky for the way home. Like, Max. come on, man. Yeah, geez, come on. Tony. I might be from the Land Cruisers, but I still gotta make my own. Yeah, geez, Tony. I'll take <laughs> 10 steaks. It's already oh. dead, Max. You can't transmute it. <laughs> GG. Not yet. No, I'll take uh, oh not yet. I'm gonna break the rules. <laughs> I'll take uh, I'll take two steaks. All right. Sherman says I'll take a beef kick. Coming right up. How much do I owe you, boss? I say, don't worry. Your tab will come at the end. I'm so scared. Worry. It's one of those places. <laughs> you can see that. That's why I'm scared. I was trying to get this out of the way so I could fucking know what I'll have left over to fucking... Damn it. Alright, let's go. So a little bit of time passes. He comes back, hands all of you your food. There it is. Now enjoy. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. I'm gonna... Perception check my food just to make sure everything looks good, nothing looks fucked with. So you're looking at his ass. Uh, if you're perception checking, you're just <laughs> looking at it. You can also use a survival check to try and see if poison or anything like that, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, let me see. Let me check. Um, I'll go with uh, perception because it's higher. Oh. Nice. I should have said How's it look? Uh, food Hello. looks fine. All right, nothing Welcome looks... Welcome back, okay. Elijah. Hello. You. We'll get back to you in just a second here. Anything else you're, you're doing here, Ivan? Uh, just decided trying to pay for the food and go to the, uh, the supply store. That's uh, well, it. right now, you're, you're just here at the moment. All right, y'all are eating, you're eating. He comes back with your bill. You see 140 cents. Absolutely. I pay that handsomely. Let's go. It's nothing crazy or outlandish. Just want to make sure. 
You never know if he comes back with like a thousand dollars and I'll talk this dude down or shoot him, you know. <laughs> Did you leave him a tip? Oh yeah. I you know what I'll leave uh two hundred. That leaves me eight hundred. Okay. Tip. Hopefully now like I'm a favorite customer. There we go. Goes, Thank you very much. If you need anything else, like a bite of this beefcake, you know where to find me. Nope, nope. That's why I tipped hey. you, man. That's why I fucking tipped you. Nope. That is why I Not tipped you. My dead hey. yeah. You know what? If you ever see, if you ever see us getting fucked with in your restaurant, you get you, you got our back. Of just, course, he flexes again. No, no, just no. I'm out. No. <laughs> And you just see Ivan just running out, just head head down, not even looking where he's going. I can bump into someone if you need me to. I don't even care. I'm just <laughs> no, no, or you're still there. You're still eating, finishing up your meal. Oh, I was running out. I, oh, I finished the ask off that right now. <laughs> it was so good. Don't it worry. Was so good. You're, you're still finishing up your meal. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sherman says. Sherman says nothing. Sherman says nothing. <laughs> Sherman's enjoying what he's seeing. <laughs> Oh, so, Elijah, to catch you up to speed, y'all were entering back into town, uh, and then a soldier pulled you aside. He said, hey, someone wants to talk to you over at the military outpost. Oh, he okay. missed this stuff before, too, but... Uh, this is all that's relevant. Oh, okay. You walk inside to a dark room, just like before. The door closes behind you, and you hear it lock. You get and then the light, heroin. then the light turns on, and you see two familiar faces. Oh fuck! You recognize Pontu Giji and Gordon Chain. Uh, you could trick. Fuck. Hello, Elijah. Please, take a seat. I ain't got much of a choice, do I? I'm afraid you don't. I sit down. Now, the last time that you and I met, I told you we would be enemies. This hasn't changed, not necessarily. But something has come to my attention. Something I'm hoping you can enlighten me on. I'll look to him. Did you know that you... That your father and I used to work together? Found it out pretty recently. Let me guess. So we never talked about it? He didn't talk about a lot of things that came with his work. I was his son, not his prod- not his uh, little apprentice for very long. Well, I hope he's told you something, for that is the reason why I'm here. The Thunder Alchemist and I used to consult and consort. And when he left the military, it came as quite a, forgive the pun, shock to me. Man, fuck you. I want to know, Elijah, did he tell you anything about what happened to him? About why he left the military? Or anything about what he was up to before his passing? No, he wouldn't. Nothing at all. You're certain? Completely certain. Okay. He reaches into his pocket. Uh, I want him to believe this. This is true. Yeah, roll a deception check. I'm going to have him roll a sense motive. That was my deceive. Oh, my deceive is shit! Oh, no! Goodbye. (laughs) May I attempt to persuade... No. God damn it. Persuade him to believe that lie. <laughs> Persuaded to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Persuaded yeah, to fuck. Need... There you go. We need some alchemy checks. I need to see this rebound. Come on. So he has rolled it a GM roll. Eventually you'll see this on the recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, perhaps you can make light of, or perhaps you can explain this to me then so he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a note and you see along the bottom of this note there's blood and there are two holes but it is still eligible legible hand it over legible yeah 
Thank you. You see it reads, Pontu, it's Alex. I've discovered something. It's the reason why I left the military. The reason why I took my son to a safe place. I can't risk saying what it is here in this note, but I have something to say. Or, but I have to say something. The higher-ups, maybe even the Fuhrer himself, are plotting something. Keep your eyes on Ishval, Pendleton, Fotset, and Lior. Maybe you'll discover what I mean. As I write this, I'm preparing for a vacation with my girlfriend. Her name's Solaris. You'd like her. I'm going to tell her what I've discovered. I trust her with my life, and if she thinks it's a good idea to make a move on this, I intend to. Please be careful, my friend. If you must respond, keep it coded or delivered by someone you trust. And if this the if this is the end, goodbye, my old friend. Does this look like his handwriting? From what I remember, yes, like one thousand percent. Yes, this looks exactly like something he would have made. This does not look like a forgery. It just kind of nod his head a little. He reaches the hand out to take the note back. He he kind of hesitates at, at the first glance, but then he slowly hands it over. Clenched fist, though. <laughs> he puts it back in his pocket. Do you know when I received that letter? When? Never. Chameleon snuck into a base to steal some supplies, discovered some confidential files. This was one of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so what do you make of all this, Elijah? Oh, no. Well, was my uh, was my old man done in the same way that your uh, your old murdery guy friend pal that uh, that he told me took his eye, but he really didn't take his eye. Uh, what what was that? <laughs> Are is it, do you is he was uh, Mike was his dad? Done the same way the uh, I think the gravekeeper alchemist or whatever, something with grave. Let me you know refer to my notes. Jailbreaker, headhunter. Because I asked about it and and he said that sh that uh, the person attacked him in his office and that's how he got this the his uh his eye taken out whenever he already had the uh fucking uh. Eye patch before that happened, and bef whenever I firstly had met him. Uh huh. So, so what's uh, what's it exactly that you're asking? Damn, am I that un un unintelligible? Fuck. Well, um, I was trying to understand that one bit of it first, and then I was focused on that, and now I just forgot the rest of the question. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's all good. Um, was he done in the same way that that guy was? So, the so was your father's body damaged in the same way that the Fear's body was? Yeah. Uh, Pontu's going to say, "I'm afraid I don't know. I did not see the body. I did find a, rec a record of the report. It would line up. There was stabs into him. If that is how the Fear lost his eye." No, no. Remember your pal that died before you even started your uh, your particular group thing? Yes. Yeah, uh Whenever I talk to Bradley about it, um out of curiosity, pretty much he decided to tell me that this man attacked him in his office and took his eye whenever he really didn't take his eye. His eye had been gone way before that. 
Well, it sounds to me as though the fear was lying to you then. That said, it could also be true. I will not deny there is a possibility. But the wounds line up. If that means he is lying to you, that means that he might be involved in the conspiracy. And a conspiracy. Bunch of damn conspiracy theorists together with battle skills. You know you're not going to win. Why do you do this? I am sick of fighting a war against everyone who gets in the way. There is no attempt at diplomacy. It is always bloodshed. That is not the way I wish for this country to be run anymore. Beautiful. Sorry. I can't say I completely know what you mean. I envy the enthusiasm, I guess. Well, Elijah, I think that pretty much will answer everything you have for me right now. Unfortunately. I'll offer one last question. I'll extend you one more chance to join us. Can't say I can do it. So the answer is no. The answer is no. You hear a voice echo, kind of muffled. Right answer. And then you see part of the wall gets kicked open. Kimberly! You see Kimberly breaks on through. I was stiff hiding in there for so long. I knew you'd show yourself eventually, though. See Pontu looks at him and looks at you. Are you aware of this? Wasn't aware. <laughs> Don't worry, Elijah knew nothing of my plan. I made sure to use him as the bait. But it's okay, Pontu. We have more personal matters to discuss. See, Goran readies himself. Like, whips his chains, grabs them in his hand. Your arms look like they're doing better. Yeah, I owe you for that. Here, a token of my appreciation. He reaches into his pocket and then throws out. You see a red, small crystal at him. Roll perception check, Elijah. Or knowledge check. I'll accept either. Knowledge or perception. Oh, no. Perception is max ranks. And what was the other one that you were going to... Oh, knowledge. Uh, yeah, the... I'm going to do perception because it's a plus 11. That's a solid one. You are not familiar with what this is, with what he just threw him. Okay. See, Gordon grabs it, holding it in his hands. Wait a second, is this? Pontu eyes it. And he eyes Kimberly with, a, with wide eyes of shock and surprise and a little bit of fear, even. Is that a philosopher's stone? Of course it is. This is my thank you. Gordon smiles. Well, I don't know why you'd give it to us. You playing at something? Oh, of course I am. I'm here to execute you both. Elijah, stay out of the way. He lifts both of his hands. He kind of ducks. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) As that happens, you see Gordon gets ready to move his chains, and you see a red lightning flicks upon the stone. And upon his chains. And then you hear the stone shatter. At that point, you see Gordon's chains begin to fuse into his arm as a rebound occurs from the broken stone. What the hell is this? You see, it's causing his forearms to completely cover his gauntlets in a horrific mesh of flesh and metal. Gordon screams the whole while. It was, oh, did I forget to tell? Did I forget to tell you? That one is pretty much out of juice, and it's a fake. Tragic, isn't it? That one was for my arms. Now then, 
Then his alchemy begins. A massive explosion blows out the back wall. Aimed at those two. Well, another perception check, Elijah. Yeah, let me also roll one. Let me roll a concentration check and see if I can concentrate on eating the steak. Meanwhile, Jake is blowing How about that one? the back wall. You see... Let me... Uh, let me do this real quick. An explosion like after the fact you're ready. And you are dead. I'll go ahead and reveal this. Uh, you all hear an explosion as you're finishing up your meal about this. But I was Coming from very nearby. Yeah, you're able to concentrate. Uh, and Elijah, you see that Pontu, as the explosion is coming out, you see he has whipped his body around and hidden behind the, the bigger body that is Gordon. Before we run out, I, I mean, are we? Do we pay this tab before we run it out, or are we like, are we running yeah, out? Yeah, you paid the tab, and then you were like, that's why I said you're still finishing up your meal. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure, like, we just run out. I'm like, wait, 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 make sure that's taken care of. I don't want no restaurant owner being mad in the future and fucking like, hey, you fuckers, skip that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As the smoke disappears, you see Gordon Chains opened corpse and Pontu as it appears behind it as it falls. Eyeing you curiously and eyeing Kimberly. Well, I guess it's time we begin the real fight. Let's do it. Oh boy. Let's do it. You all make your way out of the diner, out of the restaurant, and you ready yourselves for combat. Yeah. That's where we're gonna end things. What? <laughs> That's where we're gonna end things. Can I have the small thing what? happen before we run out. What's the small thing? Uh, when Jake comes back to collect the bill, like before, like where I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and be like, "Are you guys hiring?" <laughs> oh yeah, you can absolutely do that. Damn it! I was trying to go to the like, so and pop this motherfucker. You'd be like, "We're always hiring if you have what it takes." He just had to flex. I'm just gonna unbutton the front of my shirt and just like shows my abs and stuff. I'm like, is this enough? Roll no, you're a performance ahead. check. Oh no! <laughs> you flex and you fucking pop a blood vessel. <laughs> and now, oh, what is he gonna yeah. flush? Just one of them deflates. <laughs> is there anything else I can roll but that? Uh. Let's see. Like, a strength check for my muscular build? Strength check because I'm... Now you're trying to show off the body. Now this is a perform check. But perform is charisma based. (laughs) Right. Not anymore. (laughs) You gotta know it to show off. Uh, uh, Hey. Hey, Mike, get a nat 20. Flexing his skill. Yeah, let me get, let me go ahead and waste waste yeah. that twenty. He eyes you up and down. He goes, "You must get the bulkier, and you need to put more heart into it." Fair enough. Keep working at it, and then you too. And he goes and he like slaps you on the arm. Will be a beefcake. Cheats. I nod, and then we hear the ruckus, and we head off. Yeah. (laughs) And that's where we're going to end things. Ending it on the cliffhanger. (laughs) Yay. We're going to die. I'm right next to these fuckers. I mean, you've got Kimberly on your side, you've got Sherman, but you are in the middle of danger. I don't trust fucking Kimberly, to be honest with you. I mean, you don't have Kimberly (laughs) against you is more an accurate way to say it. I'm lucky I said no and I had sense. Because at that moment, see, he was pretty mad, but like... See, Ivan, just... Kimberly didn't abandon you. Kimberly's just a dick. Kimberly's Kimberly. I hate Kimberly. He's perfect. He's amazing, but I Muted hate Red. Just like Ironwood. Muted Red. No, I loved Ironwood. 
I love this personality. I think he was one of the top characters in the show. Motherfucker, I was muted. Yeah, Ironwood had a great personality, that's for sure. Ivan and yeah, Kimberly get dirty. Kagane spirit kind of went to Ivan and Kimberly's like, oh, I sense, you know, yeah, we, we cool, we cool. <laughs> I sense that I like this man, but I also realized that I died because he, because I sided with people like him and trusted people. Well, <laughs> <laughs> man, just imagine if you said you were willing to leave the military right then and there, and then he kicked the door open. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, well, shucks. <laughs> I was very curious what you were going to do after all that I, happened. He wouldn't have done it either way. There was no way. I assumed so, but I I, I was just like, maybe, though. That's what just would one, he do? One few repair yeah. eyes so I can take out Eli is fucking loyal. <laughs> I am the most loyal person here. Right, if Eli switches, then, like, there's a lot of questions. I'm, yeah. I'd be countering two, like, like, Countering myself. Mm. I already seen what happens when you, uh, you know, yeah. Somebody threatens me, I'm gonna fuck them up. I was ready to do it to you. <laughs> Metagame El Sawa. That's the exact reason why Kimberly didn't meet with you, is because he already asked you a good number of those questions. Yeah. So you Plus nailed it. You're a bitch. It is, though. I can't wait to go to a fucking supply store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanted you to fight this with the weapons you had first. Hey, at least she got stuffed with meat before the fight. Oh, sorry, right, though. I'm going to get some fun. Oh, yeah, I'm you all get... who... Write this down in your notes. You'll all have, have a plus one to your checks who ate. Yeah. Oh, shit. What's I'm going to also ask this. Do we level up? <laughs> do we level up once? Uh, yes, you will level up. This is yeah. part of the reason why the fight hasn't begun. Okay. Level nine. Cool. Level up. Um, plus one to our tax return. Level eight. Now we're level nine now. Yes, I. <laughs> Leveling. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was called away for so long. I just I don't really talk to family that uh, that much. Oh, good. Man. My bite. It was like when it happened. I was just like, ah, shit. The last part of the session's really fucking dependent on him. <laughs> Listen, I am a beautiful person. And I will always be here. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications if you like this. If you're looking to support us, be sure to check the description below for a link to our merch store and Patreon you can check out. Speaking of which, I'd like to give a special thank you to this month's patrons. Alright, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.